Hello and I'm at uh, Dusseldorf. This is Caravan Salon. Mercedes has brought out a new app uh, which is designed for our viewers and with uh, navigation and other features. But let's have a quick look at it. Here we've got the uh, thing. It's partially in German because it's, uh, it's not quite ready but it will be ready very soon. I'm sorry for the screen by the way but uh, um, there is the light which uh, mightn't uh, uh, be very good on it. Okay, let's have a look at vehicle status. So what have we got here? Uh, so we can see our uh, vehicle and so it's currently unlocked, the windows are closed and all the doors are open. Luggage compartment is open. So why don't we lock the doors? That might be a bad idea. So uh, lock the doors, can we lock the doors? Uh, right. No, we can't because there's people in the van. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> uh, sorry, that would have. Yeah, right. So we'll go on to the next one. <laughs> and uh, lock status. We know trip. What's on, what's on trip data? We'll have a look at that. So um, uh, here we can see uh, range. Uh, this is uh, in fuel level. So from this, if we've got 4%, we've got 59 kilometers. Uh, 59 times uh, 25 uh, is uh, quite a long range you can do on this. A kilometer mileage reading, well, that could have been uh, from wherever you reset the uh, odometer. Uh, distance traveled zero, driving time, well, it's standing here. And the average com consumption is next to nothing because, in fact, it probably is nothing because it's actually here, uh, the vehicle at the fair. This is on a Frankia Yukon. So we'll go to the next thing, which is um, uh, vehicle search. So we can do this. Um, um, uh, this might be handy if you don't know where your van is. So Africa came up then, so it could have been in Africa. This is uh, uh, Dusseldorf Trade Grounds. You can see it's in Dusseldorf at the moment. Um, so that, that's quite handy. In fact, it's just behind me. So um, that, that, wa that wasn't a problem. But there are people who can't find their vehicles. I know, I, I've known of this one. They park it somewhere, then can't remember where they parked it. Uh, so um, particularly as most people who buy these things tend to be uh, a little bit old. In fact, the average purchase in Germany is 73 years old. That might be a handy feature. And so if we go back here, and we can see now um, service, you can arrange that, uh, uh, then you have all the, what, oh, you can see the brake fluid, the coolant, the washer fluid, and the battery is charged. Oh, very good. And so what else we got? And, uh, right, so that's where we are. And how about traveling somewhere? Right, so what if we wanted to go? Uh, now, the point of something like this uh, is we can actually set the details for our vehicle. So let's have a look at what we've got here. This is a Frankia Yukon, 78, sorry, 780 centimeters long, 220 wide, 335 high. Uh, you put on a 4.1 ton basis. This is on a 4.1 ton basis, two axles, speed limit 100 kilometers an hour. It does actually go faster but uh, that might be the, what you want to, to actually do it. Now, if you want to go somewhere, so we've got here, uh, we've got, hey, we'll go to the, you know, that cafe is quite close, so we'll go somewhere, Hanover, Hanover, oh, we're going to, we're going to Hurt. Hurt, that's all right, that's okay, never mind. And uh, maybe there's something interesting in Hurt, and uh, let's see, let's go to Hurt. So it's, it's working it out, and what we've got here, we've got the route, which actually, this is probably, I think, this is the quickest route. I need to do a video on uh, how to use a navigation, uh, and what you never do, of course, is the shortest route, because that would have taken you through the center of Dusseldorf. I need to still be there next week, and that's presuming there isn't any uh, traffic jam. So you can see you have to go round, uh, round Dusseldorf like, like that, that is the quickest route. And you're sort of going round Cologne as well, so we make that point. And the bridge, although I think all the bridges here in Dusseldorf are suitable for this type of uh, vehicle, but they could be somewhere where they're not. And, uh, and this is a really important feature. I've got a TomTom -tom navigation, which is meant to TomTom camp. It costs 300 euros. And for some daft reason, it keeps resetting itself. And uh, only in June, it tried to make me go under a bridge, 
uh, which was uh, not much more than two and a half meters high so it's just as well I uh, I don't know why it reset itself but it doesn't anyway hopefully this one doesn't reset itself and share the route to the vehicle so you can let the vehicle know where you're going uh, if you think of taking the vehicle with you so real-time route recalculation uh, once you've started your vehicle will recalculate to find the best route based on elements such as real-time traffic so there could be a traffic jam somewhere en route and then we have to find somewhere else today's a Sunday so it's unlikely to be uh, blocked but having said that they do like to do the road works here and uh, that uh, does slow things down I remember there was a traffic jam of n nearly 300 kilometers in Munich a few years ago okay so I think that that's everything really and uh, thanks very much for watching this I do apologize for the light but uh, this is uh, I don't know how to do it from directly from an app so I couldn't film that thanks for watching and all the best from me in Dusseldorf questions below if you've got any maybe someone from Mercedes will try to answer or alternatively if I know what the answer is then I will do so bye for now